Hey guys, welcome to On Fire Roblox Scripting, and this is an extension of the Working Shop series where uh, it's basically just like a data store that's going to store the player's cash and the tools that they own. So let's just get right into it. So if we want to store different values inside of Roblox, we need to create this thing called a data store. Now I do have like a full tutorial on how to make a data store, um, but I will just be doing one really quickly in this tutorial. It won't be that in depth, but you can click on the icon top right of the screen right now or link inside the description if you want a full tutorial on a data store. But essentially what we're going to do is we're just going to be modifying this piece of code here to create our data store. So let's just move that down a little bit. We can start off with uh, some variables for the data store. So this is going to be local data store service equals to game colon get service and then that is going to be the data store service and then local data store equals to data store service colon get data store and then inside the brackets this is just going to be the name of your data store it doesn't really matter what it is because it's, it's just the name so uh let's just call this tools or stats or something it is not very important after that let's create some variables for our actual tools um so let's get the replicated storage so local let's go rs for replicated storage and that's going to be game dot replicated storage and then local tools equals to replicated storage or rs pull on wait for child and let's wait for our folder known as tools remember that inside our replicate storage we have a folder that um, holds all of our tools after that we need a variable for each tool so let's go local um, sword equals to tools call on wait for child we're gonna wait for the classic sword and we're gonna do the same thing for the flashlight so local flashlight equals to tools call on wait for child this is just going to be flashlight and then local key card equals to tools colon wait for child and this is going to be the uh the key card um we should probably also just add the word tool after each variable name just so it's more organized so this is going to be a local sword tool and then local flashlight tool and then local key card tool so once we have that done we can now modify our leader stats script to hold a data store so we already have leader stats and we already have cash. So let's create some new folders and values for our tools. So local, let's just call this tools folder or tool folder instance.new. We're going to create a new folder and put it under the player. And then tool folder dot name. We can just uh, name this tools. After that, let's create a new value for each of our tool. So local, so the first one's gonna be sword. So local sword equals to instance.new. And this time we're gonna create a bool value. And we're gonna put that under the tool folder. And then sword.value is gonna be false. So we can do the same thing for the flashlight. So local flashlight equals to instance.new, a new tool value we're going to put that under the tool folder so call my tool folder and then flashlight dot um, value equals to false we should probably also name our uh, values so sword dot name and then when we name these inside the quotation marks uh, you should make sure that your names are the exact same as our tool handler table so if we go back to that script which yeah, right here so the classic sword whatever is within these square brackets is what you want to name your value so i'm just going to copy that go back into the leader stats and just paste that in there so i'm going to do the same thing for the flashlight so flashlight dot name equals to put in quotation marks go back to tool handler copy uh, right there flashlight paste that right there and we're going to do the same thing for key card so local key card going to be instance.new another bool value under the tool folder 
and then keycard.name is going to be equivalent to whatever is inside our table just like that and then keycard dot value is going to be false so now that we have all of our new bool values and folders we can go on to part of the saving aspect of the data store so what we're going to do is we're just going to create a variable called data so local data and then we'll set that to nil for now and then we can write local success comma error message that's going to be equal to a p call and then we're going to write function inside of that and put in brackets after that go down the line and then write data so we're going to put something inside our variable known as data so data that's just going to be equal to our data store so make sure that it's this one so this variable should match up with this one right here so that's just going to be our data store colon get async so this one right here and then we're going to get the player dot user id and after that we're going to go down two lines and then we're just going to check um if success and there is data then so what this means is if we found the player's user id and they do have data then we'll just put in their data so our first value is cash so cash that value and that's going to be data the first one so basically what we're going to do is just go down the row first one's cash followed by sword flashlight and the key card so the next one is sword so sword that value that's going to be data two and then the next one is flashlight so flashlight dot value goes to data three and then the last one is key card so key card dot value that is going to be data four and then inside our if statement we're going to go down the line and write else so this is if we couldn't find the user id or there's no data we're just going to print out that so we can print out something like the player has no data and then we are going to warn our error message just like that so we can just close that up and then after that so after our entire leader stats stuff we need to save the data whenever the player leaves the game or the server is closed so what we're going to do is game dot players dot player removing colon connect function we're going to write in a player then go down the line then uh we're just going to leave this blank for now so i'm just going to write to do because when the player does leave we need to save the data which we haven't quite done yet and then the other scenario we're going to do is when the server shuts down so that's going to be game colon bind to close and then we're going to connect a function put in brackets and then go down the line and then essentially what we're going to do is we're going to loop through all the players inside the game so for underscore comma player in and we're going to get all the players through i pairs so i pairs and then game dot players colon get players just like that do so this is going to create a new loop and that's going to loop through all the players and then we're going to leave that blank for now we'll come back to that later so after we have set this up it should look something like this for now we're going to quickly create a function that saves the player stats so we're going to come back up here then we're going to create a new function so save data so let's create a new function we're just going to write local function and we're going to call this save data let's put in brackets and then let's get a parameter called player we're going to go down the line and we're going to write local table to save equals to and then put in curly brackets just like that and then go down the line and then here we're going to write everything that we want to save so the first one is going to be cash so player dot leader stats dot cash dot value so remember that the cash stat uh, over here is under the leader stats then we're going to put in a semicolon and then go down the line and then we're going to do the same thing for the tools so player dot tools so remember that tools should be the same as this one right here so is leader stats these two should match so player dot tools then we need to find the tool we're trying to save so in this case we're going to be saving 
classic sword. So you can just copy that. So tools. Let's put in a square brackets. Classic sword. Dot value. Put in a semicolon. And then player. Dot tools. Next one is flashlight. So square brackets. Put in quotation marks. And then we're going to copy in flashlight. So flashlight. Dot value. And then finally player. Dot tools. Another square bracket. Uh, key card. So we're just going to copy that. Inside the square brackets, quotation marks, key card, dot value, and then uh, make sure you have your semicolons. So your table to save should look something like this. After that, we can go down a few lines and then we can write local success, comma, error message equals to P call. Inside the P call, we're going to write data store dot set async. Then a comma followed by data store, another comma followed by player dot user ID. Zoom out just a little bit, followed by a comma, and then we're going to write the table to save. So it's a little long, but it should look something like that. And then go down a line and then write if success, then we're going to print data has been saved then else which means the data did not succeed we're going to print data has not been saved just like that so that is our function save data so now that we have this function what we can do is we can come all the way back here under the to do so under our first to do we're just going to replace that with save data and then we're going to pass in the player and then as for the other to do, it's almost the same thing. We're just going to write task dot spawn. Then we're going to call in our save data function and the player parameter. And that should be the entire data store. So if I zoom out, it should look something like this. Remember the script will be inside the description down below. Uh, there is one more thing that we have to do. We should go back to our tool handler over here. Uh, we basically just have to update the player stats after they have bought the item. So after line 29 or after new item dot parent equals to player dot backpack. Let's go down the line and then we're going to update their stats. So this is just going to be player dot tools. And then we're going to find the first instance. So colon find first child put in brackets and then inside the brackets we're going to write item because that will be our bool value name and then dot value equals to true just like that so this will update the the player's tool bool value after they have bought it and then the oh sorry i kind of lied there's actually one one more thing we have to do is we have to give the player their tool after um it's saved so the next time they join they will just have their tool so after, you know, this little bit, if success in data, then what we can do is just write um, something like, so the first one is sword. So if sword dot value is true, so equals equals to true, then go down the line. We can write something like local new tool equals to the sword tool colon clone. And then new tool dot parent equals to the player dot backpack. And then we just want to do the same thing for the other two tools. So I'm just going to copy and paste it two more times. So the next item is the flashlight. So if the flashlight bool value is true, then we will clone the flashlight tool and put it in the player's backpack. And then finally, if the key card value is true, then we will clone the key card tool and put it inside the player's backpack. Just like that. And then to make the entire data store work, what we want to do is go into the home tab, go under game settings, and then go under security. And then what we want to do is we want to enable studio access to API services. So if you read the little blurb here, enable studio access to game services, such as data stores, which is what we're using. So just make sure that is checked and then save your game. 
then after game dot players dot player added we're just gonna uh, go down a line and just add in a quick um, player dot character added colon wait just a very quick pause that waits for the character load before we start everything so if we test it out with something like the sword if I buy the sword close the shop I now have a sword inside my backpack and then if I go into the server I open up our new folders called tool the classic sword value is checked the flashlight and key card however are not checked so if I leave the game right here let's check the output real quick so data has been saved if we join back you can see I now have a sword inside my inventory so let's try it with uh, the key card so I buy the key card I now have the key card our cash is 100 if I go into the server over here let's open up tools so sword is checked flashlight is not checked um, but key card is checked so if I stop the game then open it up you can see data has been saved so let's go back in and when I load back in you can see the cache is 100 I have my sword and I have my key card so yeah that will be it for this tutorial it's a little bit complicated but it shouldn't be too bad uh, if you liked it or help or found it helpful uh, make sure to like comment subscribe and share and I'll see you guys next time bye